I'm Cornell West, and this is the Music Makers on Public Radio International, a series funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the National Endowment for the Arts. When rap music began, most people saw it as a fad, like hula hoop or pet rocks, and predicted a very short life for the form. Yet 20 years later, hip-hop has become the musical choice for much of young black America. Stylistically, hip-hop is driven by music technology, sequencing, sampling, and working with pre-existing material. Live raps are usually done to tapes and seek to imitate the record. The roots are different. They are a live band, steeped in the traditions of hip-hop which they unerringly evoke in live performance. This show chronicles a two-week period in January 1995, just after the release of The Roots' debut album. You will go behind the scenes, see the hopes and frustrations of a young band trying to make it in the music business. One word of caution. In this program, you shall hear occasional use of the word nigger, slightly different than nigger, a term embraced by the hip-hop community as a term of endearment or provocation. Hip-hop. Rap, breaks, beats, samples, scratching, freestyle. This is an American story. It's about young America, young black America. It's about dreams and business. Peace, I'm Chuck D. And this is Hip Hop 101, On the Road with the Roots. My brothers and sisters, I present to you live and direct from Philly. My peoples, the roots. In hip hop, you just have the, the, the power of the voice sound. The voice and the beat are like the center and like everything comes from that. What the, the roots are able to do. Not only are they able to, to be aesthetically challenging, but they're able to, to bring together a community. I thought we were supposed to be doing at the Mar. To get a C plus, that's selling five hundred thousand. That's going gold. To go platinum, which is a million, that to me is equivalent to A minus A. And to go A plus is to go anything above three million. In 1994, Geffen Records decided to enter an arena new to them, the world of hip-hop. Just two years earlier, Nirvana, an obscure alternative rock band, had rewritten music business history, rocketing from the grunge clubs of Seattle to the heights of the industry. Now Geffen hoped to make an equal impact on the hip-hop scene. After scouting a number of acts, the group they signed first was a quintet from Philadelphia, known for their riveting live performances, The Roots. Co-leaders of the Roots are Amir Thompson. I played percussion for my father when I was four years old. And Tariq Trotter. Did you tell her that I didn't like either one of those? You already know, Tariq. Better have three even though. Allah. Yeah, what's up? I was just asking a man if he let y'all know that I didn't like either one of those beats that the boys did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was just asking you know what I'm saying? I see, but I suppose that we don't like any of the any of the mixes that they do. What happens at, at that point? Hip hop is yet another form of music that has grown out of the seemingly endless inventiveness of African Americans. Hip hop culture embodies several areas: music, dance, art, and fashion. The music is rap music and it is based on striking a groove, linking rhythmic speech with rhythmic sounds. Yo, hang this up. Yo, punch me after that shit. I pictured a hit, but because sex, she wasn't when she started flipping the script. Like, listen, man, I'm Queen Amina. Amina's not a freaking, that game is weakened. Keep trying to hit, I cook with speaking to wreak. In fact, you being black, thought don't get you closer. I dig your butt won't bone you because I'm so called supposed to, most of them would. But that couldn't be me, that's not my flavor. It's not sweet like that, black. I catch you later, I contemplated, and then concluded she was bluffing. Steady pursuing you and getting up from up the solid tree. Can I, can I hear the punch? Writer and producer, Harry Allen. The musical component of rhythm is 
perhaps the central thread of um, music by people of the African diaspora. The music can be unharmonic, it can be uh, unmelodic, but if it's unrhythmic for black people, you've got another thing going. You've got to really go, go back and practice. First she said all oh, she wanted is love and affection. Five foot seven, caramel complexion. Met her through the sister of my man, Big Vince. Been digging her ever since. When it's commenced, she in hip hop, the voice and the beat are like the center, and like everything comes from that. Everything, everything you do goes back to the drum and the voice. It's primeval. It's the root. It's the root. I rip the vocal back, flip, yo, the kid is a bad bro. I can trip and hip and then dip into Calypso. Adios, amigo, which means I got Stigio. Makes you wonder about my number, guess my address on my PO. Here's a hint. I'm from Villa with the dub, but not the Rio. Well, I'm guessing here is like exactly where the fee go. Now, we got the Philadelphia, why not top it off with an A? The Philadelphia attic, rhythmatic way I'm straight from Philly. Silly, but rugged, then I hail Philly. Just like I said, in the past 15 years, hip hop has grown among the youth of America. First in the African American ghettos of the big cities, and then spread to the suburbs of Middle America. Early rap was a homegrown music. It was created by DJs rapping over dance records. At first, DJs or MCs scratched out rhythms on turntables and sang beats in the microphone. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And now Peter, Piper, Pig, Peppers, but run rock, rhyme, Humpty, Dumpty, fell, down, that's his heart, time, Jackie, nimble, what, nimble, and he was quick, but jam, mass, mud, <laughs> Jackson. Soon the technology grew, and so did the ingenuity of the rappers. The music became more complex by layering sampled sound. The sampler had been invented to allow composers to create music in a studio. It let them use short recordings of an instrument instead of the instrument itself. A keyboard could be used to play a saxophone or a guitar part, but hip-hop artists began sampling bits of old records, making collages of drum beats, horn lines, bass lines, stabs, grooves, and stings. And once again, black people created an American art form by using tools or instruments intended for a different use. The roots have now extended this tradition to another level. They create the collage sequences without the technology. And they do it live on real instruments, bass, drums, and 